Howdy, howdy, neighbors. This is DJ Davenport. Welcome you and yours to Access to Bluegrass, a bluegrass show brought to you every week at this time by this station. And here is a fine bluegrass band uh, playing their little hearts out for you. And uh, with no further ado, here they are. what you call far on the mountain. So good to be a visiting with you in your living rooms or in your den or out in the garage or wherever you may be on your TV set in your homes. And we hope we have something lined up that will uh, make your day just a little bit brighter. I'd like to tell you who all the fellas are on my right doing the fiddling there on far on the mountain. Darrell Wagner, he hails from Monroe, Michigan. On my extreme or left here immediately, he hails from the great state of Georgia, and he's been a five-string manager player for a long, long time around Detroit and Pontiac and all the places over that way. His name's Mr. Ford Dix. Over on the big bull fiddle, he, he comes from the great state of Virginia, and he's been playing bull fiddle a long time with a lot of good groups. He lives in Mansfield, Ohio now. His name is Al Green. So make them all welcome, and we'll get into an old song that we recorded some time ago called Fort Worth Jail. Way down in Fort Worth Jailhouse, I'm a feeling mighty low nobody cares about me cause I ain't got no dough number nine so black and shining oh he took me up to jail my good girl said so long daddy cause I can't go your bail way down in Fort Worth Jailhouse, I'm a feeling mighty low. Nobody cares about me, cause I ain't got no They'd never let me go Way down in Fort Worth Jailhouse I'm a feeling mighty low Nobody cares about me Cause I ain't got no dough Jailhouse, I'm a feeling mighty low. Nobody cares about me, cause I ain't got no dough. Oh, 
thank you, fellas. It's good to be here, like I said. And um, Daryl, you're doing a fine job. Say a word or what the next song might be. You're going to kick it off. You're going to sleep one eye open all night, sleep buddy? Sleep one eye open. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I just found out today that little game you play I've been sleeping all my life away You've been sleeping, so they say, between midnight and day I'm gonna sleep with one eye open from now on From now on, from now on, all night long You won't have a chance to treat your daddy wrong if it happens, so they say, between midnight and day, I'm going to sleep for an hour from now on. Ah, oh, pick it, horse, pick it. Oh, you thought you was being wise, running around with other guys, and leaving me to spend my time alone. Oh, you find out today that it don't work out that way. You started a little game that two can play. From now on, from now on, all night long, you won't have a chance to treat your daddy wrong. You'll be stepping, so they say, between midnight and day. I'm going to sleep when I open the There's a honky tonk down the road, it's about a mile or so. I understand that's where you spend your time. Maybe I got news for you, your little game is through. From now on, honey, you gotta toe the line. From now on, from now on, all night long, you won't have a chance to treat your daddy wrong. You've been stepping, so they say, between midnight and day. I'm going to sleep when I open from now on. I'm going to sleep when I open from now on. Oh, there you had one of our older recordings called I'm going to sleep with one I open from now on. And Ford, what do you think about being over here with Bonnie and DJ to doing this, this TV show? Oh, well, it's really nice being over here. I never have been to Battle Creek but one time. That's when you went to get some cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good to be with them, though, but I'm going to tell them. See, when I first come to Detroit, I just went through the third grade down where I come from, and I came off up to Detroit and started teaching high school. <laughs> I didn't last too long at that job. I had to take a job selling ladies' underwear at the Hudson Department Store. I was doing real good at that job. One day there's a big old gal come bouncing in there and she said, young man, I'd like to see your underwear. I said, well, don't look too close because it's kind of hot today and I didn't wear none. But anyway, I went on back down home to see my mother and daddy and my daddy had a bunch of little pigs. So I thought I'd pick me up one and bring back up here for a pet. And the pig got to growing and rooting everybody's yard up. Police just come over and told me that I had to do something with that pig. And I said, well, what do you want me to do with it? He said, well, take it to the zoo. About a week later, he come back over there and the pig was out of rooting her yards up again. He said, I thought I told you to take that pig to the zoo. I said, well, we went to the zoo, but we had so much fun, we decided we'd go to the ball game next Saturday. <laughs> Bob, I'm gonna turn this back over and let you do some. Uh, thank you, buddy. He tells a lot of good stories, and that's one of the good ones. I'd like to sing a song for you that I just received about a, something like a month ago in the mail from a fella over in the great state of Missouri. And uh, this song been around a while, I understand, but I had never heard it. They jumped out of the speakers and grabbed me, and I said, I better learn this song right now. Not cat rat like in Texas, but rat now. 
It's snowing out there in the dawning. I sat here and watched it all night. The kids will be thrilled when they wake up to the fields that's so deep and wide. But the snow makes me think of my darling. She hated the snow and the cold. Now she lies in a grave in Virginia with a headstone that's just one year old. So please make the winter go quick, Lord, so the flowers around her will grow. I can't stand the thoughts of my darling lying there in the deepening snow. Good job back me up there, fellas. Sure appreciate that. And hope you people enjoy this stuff that we're trying to do for you today. Some of our programming. We try to have a program or a good variety of bluegrass country and gospel music in our shows. We'll do a little bit of all that before it's over. I'd like to say a word here now. The phone number on the end of the show will be on the screen. And uh, come see us at our festival. It's called uh, the number at the bottom of the screen after the show's over with. And we'll... Uh, See that you get some literature or whatever you want to know about it, all the information, well, I'll see that you get took care of. Got some people over behind the control room over there that, that helps us out a whole lot. That's Evelyn Green, Al's wife, and my wife, Pina, and they will see that you get it in the mail or call you back on the phone, answer your phone calls, what have you. So don't be afraid to call on us. We do like to hear from you. Here's a song that we'd like to do for you that uh, I brought with me from Tennessee when I come to Ohio back several years ago. Sung it in church all my life. Come from the Vaughn Publishing Company and Mr. James D. Vaughn wrote the song and he owned his own publishing company so naturally it would be in his songbook. 
We'd like to do it for you now called the Old Country Church. There's a place dear to me where I'm longing to be with my friends at the old country church. There with mother we went and our Sundays were spent when we knelt at the old country church. Precious years of memory. Oh, what joy they bring to me. As a small country boy, how my heart beat with joy when we knelt at the old country church. And the Savior above with his wonderful love saved my soul at the old country church. Precious years of memory. Oh, what joy they bring to me. that today all the people would pray as they did in that old country church and the savior above with his wonderful love save my soul at the old country church precious years years of memory oh what joy they bring to me With my friends at the old country church. Precious years, Precious years of memory. friends at the old country church with my friends at the old country church all right i guess we got about time for one more i uh, see our director says we got to do one here for you i tell the banjo on so just put the guitar away for right now and while he's getting his banjo i'll be kicking it off and he's gonna play a little bit of drum on it when he gets hold of his banjo Hut, one, two, three, four. Hut, one, two, three, four. Well, in 18 and 14, we took a little trip. Along with Colonel Jackson down the mighty Mississippi. Took a little bacon and we took a little beans. Caught the bloody British in the town of New Orleans. Fired our guns, the British kept a coming. Wasn't as nice many as there was a while ago. Fired once more and they began to run it. Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico.
Oh, we looked up the river and we seen the British coming. Must have been a hundred of them beating on their drum. Set so high and they made their bugles ring. Set beside the cotton fields and didn't say a thing. Fired our guns, the British kept a coming. Wasn't as many as there was a while ago. Fired once more and they began to run down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, we run them through the barns and we run through the bushes and we run them through the gravels where the rabbits couldn't go. Run so fast that the hounds couldn't catch them down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Couldn't it again. Oh, we fired our cannon till the barrel melted down. Fought an alligator and we fought another round. Fell his head with cannonballs and powder his behind. When we set the powder off, the gator lost his mind. Fired our guns, the British kept the coming. Wasn't as many as there was a while ago. Fired once more and they began to run it. Down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Oh, we run them through the briars and we run them through the bushes and we run them through the gravels where the rabbits couldn't go. Run so fast that the hounds couldn't catch them down the Mississippi to the Gulf of Mexico. Hut, one, two, three, four. Hut, one, two, three, four. Hut. All right, there you had one. I'd like to do one of the songs I wrote here a few months back. I was down in Tennessee and um, seen some fellas playing checkers out there under an old shade tree. I'd like to do a recitation and this song we call um, Ode to a Country Boy. But that inspired me to write this song because uh, when you see something like that, you come back home and get thinking, Lord, we don't have time to even smell the roses now. And uh, them old boys down south still know what it's all about. I said I went back down home to where I was born and raised Oh, there sat two old timers playing checkers under a tree in the shade. Their high billed overalls was all faded, past and worn. That's what these city folks would call the Mohill Billy uniforms. You know, that didn't bother them none at all if they wanted to boast or brag. Buddy, they just reared back and let her fly, sitting there on a couple old nail kegs. And they talked about the good old days when it's young and in their prime. They wrote this song for me many, many times. Really, all I had to do was take a pen and write down the lines. They painted a picture in my mind. It was one of the brightest that I ever had. Cause one of them old timers sitting out there under the shade of that tree on a nail keg was my dad. <laughs> It's a pickup truck and a blue nose view, blue tick hound and a plug of chew. Shotgun loaded with a shell or two makes a country boy from a happy tune. It's an RC call and a big man pie, big eyed girl for Saturday night. Jug of wine and a little homebrew thrills a country boy through and through. It's a fiddle and a banjo playing old Joe. Those is stepping on the hardwood floor. Do si do all night long makes a country boy feel right at home. It's a Jersey cow and a Dominator hen, chicken in the pot and a pig in the pen. A lot of hard work, a little bit of play, get to go to town come Saturday. It's an RC cola and a big moon pie, big eyed girl for Saturday night. Jug of wine and a little homebrew, thrills a country boy to it through. It's a fiddle and a banjo playing old Joe, those is stepping on the hardwood floor. Go see no, all night long makes a country boy feel right at home. Oh. 
There's a fiddle and a banjo playing the hotel. Toes is tapping on the hardwood floor. Don't sit no all that long. Makes a country boy right at home. Makes a country boy feel right at home. Ah, oh, there we had that uh, old uh, country boy. Hope you enjoyed that. Something that we kind of constructed ourselves and uh, got it out on a a, uh, a video tape. Plus, uh, got it out on some CDs and uh, cassette tapes. Just call uh, DJ and he'll give you my phone number and you can let me know if you want some of them. I say one thing: we've had a lot of fun being here, visiting with the people in the studio, and visiting with you people at home. And we hope to return and make some other engagements here to be with you again. Until now, we'd like to just say so long and God bless. Y'all take care of yourselves. We'll see you later on down the road. Right now, we'd like to finish up with a kind of get on out of here with, I think we're going to do Sally Good, weren't we? Sally Good? Yeah, I think it's about time to kind of wind that off and let you fellas get some picking there. Y'all want to do some picking? Let's go to it. Just kick some toenails off and let's go. Well, it looks like the old uh, clock on the wall is caught up with us, and it's time to pack up our gear and get out of here and let another fine program come on. 
thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate that. Uh, and we appreciate the uh, cards and letters and uh, emails and uh, telephone calls, uh, whatever. Uh, we really appreciate those folks. Uh, it makes this all worthwhile. And uh, we want to thank our uh, people behind the scenes, our, uh, our whole crew. Uh, there's a bunch of them, so I can't name all of them. <laughs> Until next time, this is DJ Davenport wishing you and yours the very, very best. And take care of one another. You couldn't take care of nicer.